Good morning, folks. We'll begin today with another M-Class solar flare that occurred this morning. It came from the southern departing active region and released a CME that is unlikely to be geoeffective. However, we do have more plasma on the way to Earth. Remember, two days ago, a central filament destabilized and released. NOAA has now updated their endless spiral to show the impact, expected to be very slow, but quite dense, still a couple days away. Solar wind is calming down from the previous CME impacts. Combined with the flare energy, these minor factors of space weather accompany a powerful coronal hole coming in to ramp our earthquake warning starting today. Yesterday we showed below average rumbling for the past week and it continued yesterday. This coronal hole and the secondary space weather factors we mentioned are the cause of the expected uptick. The icing on the cake, plummeting sunspot number. That's one of Dr. Uyen's favorite quake factors. And speaking of Dr. Uyen, he came on fly on the wall yesterday for some commentary on the solar storms we just had and this upcoming earthquake watch. We also discussed some of the longer term cycles of our planet, star, and solar system. Well, after August proved to be too cold for even NOAA to spin into a global warming prop piece, the record cold continues now into September. Unless you're in the far northwest or the southeast, you're experiencing a chilly start to this month, and that El Nino heating we were all told to expect feels very afar at this time. Let's go to the tropics. Philippines see this storm affecting them while true landfall takes its sweet time. Afterwards, it will run west quickly across the South China Sea. This has calmed a bit here in the western hemisphere. Two of yesterday's six watch areas remain. The Pacific low still set to run up the coastline, still delivering moisture north to the U.S. Meanwhile, Eduardo in the Atlantic won't be much of a concern. More so will be those Gulf systems. In North America, we see a defined convergence in the southeast with a high pressure lobe atop the Appalachians and a low up in central Canada. The rain and storms are split by that high pressure, leaving flash flooding down there and storms running up the central states and well into Canada. Europe, I swear I'm not just repeating the same images over and over. Those two systems really just haven't moved. Same two storm zones exist tonight. Love to get some weather shares, please. Meanwhile, the wind map down under is unhelpful with no less than six earth spots in the mix. Cloud water vapor elucidates tonight's rain and severe weather warnings in purple. We've got shots of our star to close and upcoming planetary geometry. Link to the fly on the wall is below the video and you also find the earth spots information under electric earth and sun. It's 625 a.m. Eastern Time, 325 a.m. in Oregon. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.